Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review between the winning MS500 hook and loop training gloves and the Kleto Reyes hook and loop training gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junkie rhythms. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. Today I'm excited to bring you a comparison review between the winning MS500 14 ounce hook and loop training gloves and the Kleto Reyes 16 ounce hook and loop training gloves. I got these both in the blue color scheme um, for comparison's sake. And these gloves really no, need no introduction. Winning and both Reyes have been around for many years, used by pros and amateurs all over the world. Um, both have been used in pro competition and are both used for training uh, for a lot of pro fighters. Um, you've probably seen Winning that is most popularized by Mayweather, Pacquiao, and pretty much every pro level fighter I've seen use winning. Uh, Reyes have been used by quite a few fighters as well. Um, more for the pro fights, you don't really see too many people use these in training um, just because uh, many people in the past have found a lot of issues with the actual comfort of the glove and the overall ergonomics compared to winning. Um, but let's go over the actual differences between the gloves, what I like between both of them, and, and what may be a better glove for you to use. So the first thing you want to notice is the actual design of the glove. You can see the actual length of both gloves are almost identical in length of the glove so they're both mid to compact the width of the glove on the reyes is a little bit wider so the actual fist compartment is a little bit more accommodating than the winning now keep in mind the winning are 14 ounces and these reyes are 16 uh, but with that even being said i still think that the the reyes probably accommodates a little bit larger hands uh, where the winning feels a little bit more compact in my opinion as you can see uh, they both use this very high quality leather. Reyes obviously comes from Mexico, built in Mexico. It comes with that nice thick full grain cowhide leather. You can't mistake the smell of it and just the feel and thickness of it. And because of that, these take a longer time to break in uh, than the winnings. Now the winnings are made in Japan. Um, they use kind of a slicker, more, more smoother, lightweight feeling leather, uh, if I were to describe it and are definitely have a little bit more of a broken in feel don't feel as stiff as the Cleto Reyes. Um, the blue color on both I'd say that the Reyes has more of a subdued sky blue color uh, as you can see here it has kind of more of a kind of a powder blue uh, where the winning has more of a deep royal blue color to it uh, compared to the Cleto Reyes so you can see the colors there um, they both have their respective screen printed logos on here the winning has a winning logo on the back of the hand, the Cleto Reyes has their screen printed. Um, winning does not have any other logos on their glove aside from their winning logo on the back of the hand as well as the actual weight on the grip bar where the Reyes has it on there and also has um, their embroidered uh, patch on the actual strap itself. Um, so uh, quality wise, both are top notch. Um, I wouldn't say that the Reyes or the winning is better than the other. Uh, because I've literally found no flaws between the two of these gloves. All of the stitching on both gloves are on point. Double stitching throughout. You can actually see that winning uses a little bit of a wider uh, stitch pattern than the Reyes, where the Reyes use a little bit tighter of a stitch pattern. Um, but you can see the quality on both of these gloves are amazing. High quality. You can see all the leather on both. is nicely tightly bonded to the foam. Nice and packed in there. You can see that there's no issues as far as quality goes between either one of these. Um, the Velcro strap on the Cleto Reyes glove right here is a lot more robust um, than the one on the on the winning. You see the winning strap is it's pretty meager. It's it's thin and, and very small, uh, where the Reyes to me has a better strap in my opinion. Um, but overall quality on both gloves are, are unmistakably great and very nice. Now the actual comfort of the glove. I feel that the winnings are a little bit more comfortable uh, because of the broken in feel. Um, I feel that the Reyes has a deeper finger pocket. Again, so if you have bigger hands, in my opinion, the Reyes would fit you a little bit better than the winnings do. Um, you know, winnings are obviously a Japanese uh, brand, so they typically make gear that you know fits Asian fighters or Japanese fighters. That's kind of who they base their. I, I would assume they base their design off, and, and typically you know Asian or people you know of Asian descent typically have smaller frames or smaller stature smaller hands so 
Um, not to say that these gloves won't fit somebody with you know bigger hands, but typically from a design perspective, that's how they're built. Um, uh, but you can see there that um, both have a nice rolled over hand compartment. Um, you can see that I can open my winnings a, with a little bit better ease, a little easier than the Reyes. The Reyes are definitely stiffer. Um, so again, break-in period for the Reyes. Um, thumb positioning on both are really nice. Reyes has improved over the years. Winning has always been really nice. You don't feel any pinching on either one. Reyes has a really nice thumb, but the winnings are optimal. My thumb placement is good. My thumb doesn't jam at all. Um, you know, the Reyes have improved definitely. Not as awkward before, just not as comfortable um, as winning. Wrist support, in, in my opinion, the favor is in Cleta Reyes. Um, they use a nice layer, maybe half inch layer of padding of support along the wrist here. So when the Velcro strap goes over, it really locks it in. Where the winning um, is pretty much non-existent. You don't have any, uh, any rigid foam or, or any kind of padding along the wrist, which is uh, kind of kind of weird considering that the rest of the glove is an amazing glove. I wish they would put um, more foam or some kind of rigid material in here to really lock in your wrist, especially if you've had hand injuries or wrist injuries. You know, if you land on a bag or if you're sparring with these and you land at a weird angle, you can see that your wrist can flex quite a bit, where the Reyes has, is a little bit more rigid um, in that respect. Um, so, you know, overall, the comfort of the gloves, I'd give the edge um, to winning just because of the more broken in feel. Uh, the fingertip compartment feels um, about equal in both. Again, this is deeper in the Reyes where uh, the winning is a little bit more shallow. The thumb placement definitely more in favor of the winning over the Reyes. Um, now performance of the gloves, um, Reyes is actually caught up in my opinion with their, their foam or should I say their latex foam padding. Um, the winnings are a little bit more pillowy. Um, they have a little bit more of a forgiving padding on them. They're not as stiff. So the winnings are more are preferred as an overall gym glove. As well as the Reyes, the Reyes are a little bit more stiffer. Uh, so they offer really good protection on the bag. And I actually kind of prefer the Clutter Reyes padding over the winning because I feel with the Reyes I get a little bit more protection because I use these on a heavy bag as well as the winning but I feel like I get more protection with these and I can still use these for sparring um, in that regard so uh, performance wise I also like the fact that the Reyes you can get a really good pop with these as well just like you would with the winning so you're really drawing straws between both gloves in terms of performance with the Reyes you have a much I would say stiffer glove um, that is a little bit more protective where the winnings is kind of in between it's kind of nice nice middle of the road glove where it's an overall good gym glove you can use these for sparring for mitt work for the bags um, and it gives you good pop um, just I, I don't feel as, as, as productive as these newer Reyes gloves go um, now pricing wise is the big difference between the two uh, winnings are very expensive if you've seen how much they cost um, you find them anywhere from 300 to 400 to even 500 dollars depending on weight. Weight plays a huge role in winnings. Um, so depending on the weight of the winnings, the color scheme you get can really um, put a variation in price. Uh, where Reyes is pretty much standard with their 100, you know, 170 to $200 pricing. Um, obviously you'll have a little bit of variation with size and color scheme as well. Um, but generally speaking, you, you know, I've seen Reyes usually 150 to $200 cheaper um, than winning. So that is a huge, um, advantage in terms of cost because Reyes are a lot more affordable um, than winning and in my opinion you're still getting equal quality as winning in Reyes that you would so you're getting a high quality glove as you would with winning um, but for a much cheaper price in my opinion so all in all I love both gloves uh, winning obviously has, has been around for a lot of times a lot of pros using it but in my opinion I actually like the Clutter Reyes more than the winning now in the Velcro form. Um, just because the wrist support is better, um, I feel that Reyes has improved the foam over the fist area and the thumb placement as well. It's not as awkward as their previous models and the previous generation, and the foam isn't as soft. So I feel like Reyes has really improved on that. And again, not to say that winning isn't a great glove, they are. Um, I just prefer the Reyes, this current version of the Reyes over the winning in my opinion. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below in the comments box. I'll leave the information on where you can get these gloves in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.